Washington, D.C. has been praised for signing the most comprehensive trans and abortion sanctuary bill in the U.S. That sounds like a really good thing to come out of the, our capital here. Yeah, absolutely. So this is coming from um, Mayor Muriel Bowser. It, the act was known as the Human Rights Sanctuary Amendment Act. And what this really does is it provides protections. It creates a, a sanctuary situation within the District of Columbia for individuals who may be fleeing anti-trans or anti-abortion laws in those states that have been targeting them. So this is going to, you know, this is going to mean that district officials will not cooperate within any interstate investigation that would infringe upon the exercise of reproductive freedom. It would um basically create a blanket that says that if an individual has left a state where there was a law targeting them in terms of pregnancy decisions, gender affirming medical care, or same-sex relationships, they are going to find sanctuary within the District of Columbia. It'll be very interesting to see how this plays out if uh, the administration and the, the control and the government shifts considering, um, you know, the very unique setup that we have there in the District of Columbia, where, like you said, the, it's it's a mayor that is is setting this right. up um, because, you know, D.C. has been fighting to get state rights and things like that that um, they haven't been afforded yet. So it's right. a very interesting kind of uh, balance there. Yeah. And and the the autonomy of the District of Columbia is, you know, something different so that the mayor does get to control certain aspects of autonomy that are separate from the federal government's, you know, state, you know, handoffs. So <clears throat> I think as long as the mayor is, you know, well within the rights of the Constitution of the District of Columbia or whatever the 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 founding document is for that city, the guiding document is for that city, I really don't think there's anything that the federal government can do unless they want to make D.C. a state or remove the boundaries completely. That would be a fun fight.